Okay, converting between quadratic forms. This one's got vertex form into standard form. Okay. Vertex form, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are your vertex. Standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. C is your y-intercept. Okay, again, each of these forms of something that you could find right away without doing any work. All right, so going vertex form into standard form is uh, just basically going to be the same four steps each time. So in this problem, we have y equals 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 3. Again, I always like to just, you know, write down what I know. If we're in vertex form, we know what the vertex is. The vertex in this one is the opposite of the inside and the outside. So it's going to be positive 2, negative 3. Okay. Always good to figure out what you know. All right, so now let's convert it. Let's put it in from vertex form into standard form. The steps for this, the first thing you're going to have to do is expand. Okay. So what the expand means is instead of writing x minus 2 squared, we're going to expand that out into two binomials. So the 2 out front, the a value is 2. So again, our a value at the end should be 2 as well. And like I said, instead of doing x minus 2 squared, we're going to rewrite it as x minus 2 times x minus 2. So remember, x minus 2 squared just means x minus 2 times x minus 2. All right, and then the important part is do not forget to do the minus 3 at the end. Okay, that minus 3, it's just going to hang out the entire time, but you cannot forget that part. So minus 3. All right, so we expanded. Now we're going to FOIL. Okay. We have a binomial times a binomial. It's going to be a perfect square trinomial. So some of you know the pattern, so you don't have to do the full FOIL. But I'll do the full one on this first problem. That 2, again, is just going to stay out front. And that minus 3 is going to stay out back. Okay. Do not forget those parts. All right, and then the FOIL, first outside, inside, last. It's going to give us x squared, x times x, x squared, outside, negative 2x, inside, negative 2x, and then last, negative 2 and negative 2 is plus 4. Okay. Combine like terms on the inside. So again, the 2 is just going to hang out front. Combine like terms, x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then again, the minus 3 at the end. All right. Your next thought is probably correct. You're going to want to distribute. Distribute the 2 that's out front. Okay. Now when you distribute the 2, you can only distribute it until the parentheses end. So you're going to take the 2 and you're going to multiply it times the trinomial, but not times the 3 at the end. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8x. 2 times positive 4 is positive 8. And then that minus 3 does not get multiplied. You do not distribute to it. It just stays out back. All right, almost done. Last step here is to just combine like terms. Finally, that finally that negative 3 is going to come into play when we combine like terms, CLT. All right, so the, what we're combining is we're combining those two numbers without the variable at the end, that plus 8 minus 3. That's going to give us y equals 2x squared minus 8x. And then 8 minus 3 is plus 5, which is in standard form. Make sure your A value didn't change. The A value in standard form is a 2. The A value in the original problem was also a 2. Okay. So vertex to standard. Expand, FOIL, distribute, combine like terms. Let's do one more. Say we have y equals negative x plus 3 squared plus 10. 
Again, your vertex, you should be able to find the vertex immediately. The vertex is negative 3, 10. All right, let's do the four steps. Start with expand. Expand is really just rewriting the problem. The negative stays out front. And we're going to write it as x plus 3 times x plus 3. Plus 10 stays at the end. All right, so that was expand. Foil. First outside, inside, last. Again, the negative out front is going to stay out front. First outside, inside, last for a perfect square trinomial is going to be x squared. Outside and inside are both 3x, so that'll be plus 6x. And then last, 3 times 3 is 9. And parentheses, don't forget the plus 10. Okay, distribute. There's not a number in front, but there is a negative sign. So we are going to distribute that negative sign. We're going to multiply, we're going to take the negative. And again, you're basically multiplying by negative 1. Which is just going to flip all the signs. So instead of positive x squared, it's now negative x squared. Instead of plus 6, it's minus 6. And 6x. And instead of plus 9, it's minus 9. Alright, and now you got the plus 10. And then finally, combine like terms. Minus 9, plus 10 at the end. Gives us our standard form equation of negative x squared minus 6x plus 1. Alright, and again, we said we got our vertex right away from the original problem, the vertex form. The vertex was negative 3, comma 10. In standard form, we know the y-intercept right away. The y-intercept is a c value, so the y-intercept is 1. Again, just good to gather these bits of information as we go. All right, so that is vertex form to standard form. Expand, foil, distribute, combine like terms. And that's done.